Waverly Hills Sanatorium, located in Louisville, Kentucky, was built in 1910 as a place to treat patients with tuberculosis, which at that time was very common in the United States, especially in the Appalachian regions. The original building was small, but the growing need for treatment led to its expansion in 1926, becoming one of the largest tuberculosis centers in the country. Waverly Hills was a refuge for those affected by tuberculosis, providing medical care and a place to breathe. However, strict disease control requirements and frequent deaths have turned the hospital into a sad place. Efforts to save patients often end in frustration, with hundreds of patients dying each year. One of the most famous features of Waverly Hills is the Well of Death, a 500-foot-long tunnel that descends underground that connects the main building to the outside of the hill. This well is designed to remove the corpses secretly so as not to disturb other patients. In fact, it was used to transport hundreds of corpses during the worst years of the epidemic. According to former workers and visitors to the site, the Well of Death has become a cultural source of horror stories. There are many stories of seeing the ghosts of past victims, hearing voices, and even feeling that something is being followed while walking through the tunnel. Spiritual investigations are often reported to have found high levels of abnormal energy, which has led some to believe that the well is an unsettled abode. Over the years, Waverly Hills and the Well of Death have attracted many groups of paranormal investigators and history experts who want to understand what is behind the scary stories of the place. Some of these investigations have suggested that the constant pain and death that occurred at Waverly Hills created a special environment suitable for paranormal events. Today, Waverly Hills is one of the most popular tourist destinations for lovers of horror stories and history. Tours planned and special events regularly attract visitors from all over the world who want to explore one of the most haunted places in the United States. During the Halloween season, Waverly Hills hosts special events that showcase the history and ghost stories of the hospital. Despite the sad legacy, the administration of Waverly Hills strives to preserve the history of the site by presenting the true information about tuberculosis and its impact on the community. They also offer educational programs that focus on past health struggles and public health developments. Researchers from universities and research institutions continue to study Waverly Hills, using modern tools to understand the reasons behind the reported paranormal stories. This includes taking electromagnetic measurements, recording unknown sounds, and even trying to install cameras at night to catch anything unusual. Some visitors have reported experiencing strange events during their tours, such as hearing footsteps that don't exist or seeing shadows of people moving around without anyone present. Some have even reported feeling a cold touch or air pressure as they pass through the well of death. Although many paranormal stories have been reported, some experts believe that some events can be explained by natural causes, such as the effects of old buildings and unusual air flows. Some scientists argue that these factors can trigger the feeling of being followed or monitored. Waverly Hills and the Well of Death have been the subject of many documentaries, films, and television series focusing on the horror stories and history of the hospital. This has fueled the interest and in legends surrounding Waverly Hills and the community interested in horror and dark history. Famous personalities such as psychic detectives and horror story lovers often visit Waverly Hills, sometimes even conducting live investigations and filming at the location. These live events attract thousands of viewers connected to the internet, further enhancing the reputation of Waverly Hills as a scary place. The administration of Waverly Hills faces challenges in preserving and maintaining the historic building, especially since it is old and in need of constant maintenance. Also, there are concerns that excessive tourism will have a negative impact on the site, possibly damaging the surrounding natural environment. To support preservation and education about Waverly Hills, there are volunteer programs and community efforts going on, which help local authorities raise funds and raise awareness of the hospital's history and stories. This is part of an effort to preserve the site's heritage so future generations can learn and understand it. As interest in horror stories and the paranormal continues to grow, Waverly Hills continues to be an exciting and fascinating place. The site's management, and community supporters hope that in the future they will continue to attract visitors and raise awareness of the history of tuberculosis and its impact on society. 
Thus, Waverly Hills will continue to be an important place of remembrance and exploration, meeting the growing interest of both the public and researchers. Thank you for staying with us as we shared the story of Waverly Hills and the Well of Death. I hope you enjoyed the historical tour and exploring the scary stories surrounding one of the most famous paranormal sites in the United States. If you have any additional questions or want to know more about other topics, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you all for following this story to the end. I hope it has given you some interesting insights and understanding about one of the most fascinating sites in paranormal history. Thank you, and I look forward to meeting you again for new stories and more explorations 